Our first tip is what exactly is brand visibility? A brand is defined by its core beliefs but also by what the public perceives about it. A brand along with its marketing strategy, products and services has a mission. If we look at an example, let's take Starbucks. Perhaps their mission is to sell the best coffee in the world, be the best coffee bar and or create the best experience in a coffee bar. And is their online presence and the experience the same? Customers can also drive how other customers feel. Today, with constant social interaction, if a customer writes about their experience on social media or in reviews and others read it, it's immediate visibility, whether good or bad. And a brand must pay attention to this and respond. A brand is also driven by its own employees from the top down and they must represent those same core beliefs while on the job or at events. So let's take a look at what brand visibility online looks like for Starbucks. The first picture we're going to look at is their logo. When you look at their logo you'll see that previously they had name around the outside of the graphic siren in the middle and at a certain point they were creating more products than just coffee so they decided that they were going to rebrand and since they were so well known they felt that, that they could just go with the siren and they could take the name off. This opened up the um, possibility of them being able to repackage their products and as you can see they went ahead and put the siren and went for a very simple white packaging with uh, simple graphics. Now they may have thought that this was simple but actually when I went into the store and went to look for a brand such as the Cello that's uh, pictured above I couldn't find the bag that I wanted. Uh, to me, it was like they dumbed down the packaging and uh, thought they were making it easier by giving us the selections of, of blonde, medium, and dark. But in actuality, I was looking for a particular flavor and had more trouble finding the package that I wanted. Then let's look at their website. Uh, their website and as we look across at their social media which we'll see in each of the slides uh, Starbucks focuses a lot on the user experience uh, rather than just trying to show the products and sell the products they show the customers using the products so from their website we we do see pictures of customers enjoying the product and uh, pictures that uh, make you want to go get some. On Twitter we see uh, no packaging, no products, but just the actual user experience, someone enjoying a cup of coffee with a friend. Uh, on Facebook it looks like they might have created their cover image out of uh, fan images that are sent in, which I thought was a nice idea. And then when I was searching on Pinterest, what was interesting was I couldn't really find a Starbucks account, but what I saw was people's boards that they had actually named Starbucks. So in that way, their brand visibility is uh, going across other people's uh, boards so that they can um, connect with other Starbucks users. And um, they're actually bringing brand visibility to the company without the company even uh, expressing a need.